five-a-side team, well, obviously I have to have a goalkeeper and four outfield players. I'll go for Pat Jennings and go. I played with two uh, fantastic goalkeepers in my time. Pat Jennings, uh, for when I was playing for Northern Ireland, and Peter Shilton, and uh, when I was at Nottingham Forest. And really, at their very, very best, very difficult to separate them. Two magnificent goalkeepers. Pat, Pat would, funnily enough, Pat actually could come out and dribble out the field, uh, believe it or not, and could actually, um, and that would, that would be the only advantage I would give him over it. The two of them were just world-class goalkeepers, two of the very, very best that I've ever played. I think that um, you'd have a goal scorers, I'd have Henrik Larsson, um, absolutely top quality goal scorer. Really, really fine player. Am I including myself in this? You can. Season? It's totally up to you. Well, no, I, I think that no, I, I better not. I would be uh, the eternal sub in that, you know. So, um, so I would uh, go for Henrik. He would score the goals. I would go for. Um, so I have to have played with them or with, or manage them or manage them. In, I see in, what you're level. saying, right? Uh, my old friend John Robertson would be um, would be uh, top quality player wide left-hand side. Trevor Francis would probably have to come into that uh, that reckoning. So we've got one making goals and two have the ability to put the ball in the net. I probably only need one defender then if that's the case. Well, I'll tell you who could who could have played in any position dead, dead easily. Great, great control for a defender and I've played with some really brilliant defenders I've played with and I've managed one or two. I'll go for Matty Elliott at Leicester City. Matty Elliott was top quality player. Top quality. And listen, I've got lots of other players at Leicester City who could easily have got into that list, you know. Easily have got into that list. Neil Lennon would have been a great and Muzzy is it, you know, lots and lots of players there would have got into that list. But put Matty down as the defender. And you know what? If you meet me another day, I'll probably have a totally different list and yeah. every bit as good as the as the list that I've just given. I was gonna say no room for Georgie Best. Well, it would be unfair because you're talking about somebody I own I the last couple of games, the last couple of games I played, so I never really considered myself playing that often with George Best. What if you include, if it was only for a crossover period of, of two or three games, of course I'd put George Best in, absolutely. George could have played goals, he could have played centre and half, and he could have played, so absolutely. So one of those other players in a rotational business would have had to have been a sub then, okay? A George, who was just about leaving at the time I was come in. But it, our paths did cross for one or two games. As I said, I've probably played against him more often than played with him. But if that's allowed to be included, absolutely he'd be called top of the list, without doubt. One of the great players of all time. And I'm delighted you mentioned it.